Hey everybody, this is Shannon from Anyone Can Outdoors. Figured it was a nice afternoon, I could do a little bit of fishing before I go to work. I'm going to show y'all how I catch, I guess it's for everybody, but I'm going to show y'all how I catch catfish and bass. So, like I said, this isn't for everybody. Not everybody fishes this way, but this is just how I do it. Uh, catfish and bass for me, I don't use lures. Very seldom will I want to use worms, but when I am pond fishing for catfish and bass, I use good old cheap dollar, maybe two dollar pack of hot dogs. And the catfish and the bass both love these, y'all. Tell you what. So I'm out here fishing on the pond by where I live, and we'll see once if we can't hook into either a catfish or a bass, or both. And how I, how I hook, how I put it on the hook, I just do it just like that, kind of like a Texas rig, I believe it is. I put it in there, and I bury the hook as far down as it'll go. Now this one's a little bit smaller of a piece of hot dog than I was intending, but that's okay. Alright, so just like that. Now I've been fishing out here for so long. I can usually pick out where the fish are going to be. Like I know the, the bass are straight down in front of me, right in front of my dock. So I'll uh, go for those later. See what if I can't hook into a catfish right now. But it's a beautiful Tuesday afternoon here. I got about an hour or so before I got to be to work, so I figured why not do a little fishing. That's another thing, y'all. When y'all are fishing for pond, in ponds and you're wanting to go for catfish or bass, put a couple sinkers on your line and don't use a bobber. I've got just two slip shot sinkers here and that adds just enough weight plus the hot dog. That adds just enough weight It'll sink down to the bottom by itself. And you want to let it sink down to the bottom. For anybody that doesn't know, catfish like to stay down on the bottom. They're bottom feeders. So you want to, if you're, if you're looking for catfish, you want to let your bait sit down on the bottom. So I was gonna have my next video be a Q&A video, but I haven't gotten a whole lot of questions from people, so I figured my next video would be a fishing video. After that, next week I'm gonna be going out, the Lord willing, to North Carolina. I'm gonna be doing some uh, deer hunting out there. So I'll see once if I can't take uh, some videos out there.
Thank you to everybody that sub subscribed to my page already and liked my videos. I appreciate the love. I hope you guys continue to enjoy the content I bring on here. I'll try to post a video at least once a week, whether it's hunting, whether it's fishing, whether it's inspirational, might do some challenges, you never know. It's probably going to be a lot of hunting and fishing stuff. That's mainly what my page is going to be about. But there may be some inspirational stuff on there too. So I'll try to get that going at least once a week, like I said. Now normally, y'all, it don't take this long for a fish to get on the line. I don't know if it's because it's a little cooler than it has been. Or with the breeze, it's a little cooler. I don't know if that's got something to do with it or what the deal is. But it usually don't take but two or three minutes to get a fish on the line. That would explain why I ain't getting the fish. My bait's gone. My bait got stolen. Alright, so just like I was saying earlier, you do it like a Texas rig. You go in through the butt of the hot dog, and you just get that hook. Yeah. You just get that hook buried deep down. So that way, the fish has to swallow the whole hot dog. Cast out a ways, let it sink down to the bottom, and then you wait. Y'all, I love fishing for catfish because of the fight that they give. Bass and catfish are like the two pond fish um, that I like that I like going for. Because bass and catfish both they'll give one heck of a fight. Line untangled here. There we go. Yeah, y'all. I love fishing for cats and I love fishing for bass. When I'm in the, when I'm doing, when I'm fishing in the pond. Now, if I'm out on the lake or something, then I might still go for cats. But if I'm out on a boat, a charter boat, I like to go charter. I like to go salmon fishing, charter fishing there. Um. Otherwise, it just depends. But when I'm out here, um pond 
I rig my pole up specifically for bass or catfish. If I happen to catch a little bluegill or something, that's fine too. A fish is a fish. I like catching fish. But bass and catfish, y'all. That's where it's at for me. get y'all a little closer to the action there. There you go. Now y'all can see the pole that I'm using and everything. I'm using my old shot rod. It was designed by Daiwa. My shot rod and reel combo. My reel's got 10 to 12 pound test line on it. Actually, I change it out. I think it's got 15 pound test line on it now. Monofilament. I like, I haven't decided y'all. Like, I like the braided fishing line because it's a little more durable. But it gets, depending on the rod that I use, it gets a little harder to cast out further. It gets, a, it gets uh, gnarled up. But my monofilament my minor filament, now that I think about it, gets gets tangled up too, but it's easier to cast out on this pole that I'm using. And it's just, for this pole that I'm using, minor filament really is the best, best kind of line. Well, y'all, like I say, it doesn't always happen right away. Most of the time it does, but there are the odd days where it takes 15, 20 minutes. And I mean, I've only been out 10 to 15, so we'll see once, but... Maybe they just don't feel like biting today, you never know. <laughs> 